We're live on AM 1420, WIMS. Let's say hi to this little guy. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew, where are you from, buddy? Um, Chicago. Dude, I love that. Bulls. I'm a Bulls kid. I was able to see the Bulls with Dennis Rodman, Michael Jordan, and Scotty Pippen. That was my favorite time in sports. And I'm not even a sports kid, but I like the radio here. And what's your name? Annie. Hi, Annie and Kitty. And are you guys enjoying it today? We're loving it. Isn't it great? Isn't it pretty oh, weather? So many great things out here. I got to tell you, John and I are commenting at all. Everybody's got the coolest glasses out here. No, well, you know. those glasses. Thank Very you. nice. <laughs> you are so awesome. Your work is beautiful. Describe your art. Uh, we're in booth number 62. Stop by. She's from Bloomington, <laughs> Indiana. Tell me a little bit about your art. Oh, my painting is all uh, the impressionist oil painting. And I have a lot of uh, florals and the landscape paintings. And uh, I paint very thick and layered and lots of uh, textures, almost 3D in fact. Uh, very uh, colorful, yeah, and vibrant. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. <laughs> uh, basically, what I do is I cut glass and then I spray paint it in reverse, and that gives you the patterns that are on the work. And then after that, I use basically different types of glass shapes, squares globs as I call them, and then put them together in a kind of a whimsical but yet colorful kind of composition. Beautiful, and if folks want to get a hold of you, what's the easiest number to uh, to give you a buzz at, or you know, even throw them an email or a website? I don't have a website. I don't, I can't keep, well, honestly, I can't keep up with what's there for a website, because most sure. of the pieces are here and then that's it. And they're gone. Sure. They're, they're gone. So generally, it's just uh, James Conley. I live in Munster, Indiana. Uh, telephone number is area code two one nine nine three four ninety twelve, and uh, I have a studio in Highland where usually in the fall is when people can kind of come in and see what's going on with the new stuff. Would you create if someone came to you and said, "Hey, James, I I want to I'm thinking about this. Can you possibly help them piece together an idea?" I could to a certain point, but that's sometimes how I got the gray hair. Yeah, I know that works. Okay. No, it's a very honest answer. I yeah. appreciate that. Are you ignoring printmakers? I would never do that to you. How are you? I'm fine. There are three printmakers here. Okay, so booth number 63. Tell me a little bit about that. Explain printmakers, that whole aspect. Printmakers are breed apart. We like to be by ourselves. We work out of our imagination. We spend time with our printing press. Working with copper, working with plexiglass. I've been doing it for just over two years. How do you like it? And do you now are you able to come up with your own? Like you said, you work in your own. Straight imagination. out of my imagination. I start with a line that leads to another line, leads to another line. It's got to be good for like that stress-free type application. You, know, you can zone out, and suddenly it's eight hours later. I like you know? that. Uh, Sarah Youngman is here. She's yeah. at Booth Summer '63. Well, I lived in England, and I had lots of time and played around with um, metal. And I, my neighbor was an artist, and he actually taught me how to solder. So I just did my own designs, and he started helping me out, and I just evolved from there. Now, the jewelry that you have on today, is that a part of your collection? It's part of my collection. Because i got to tell you, I'm, I know my wife's listening right now. <laughs> She's going to be up here in a little bit. The earrings you have on are absolutely stunning. Thank you. I love them. And then the piece you have on, describe this. The, it reminds me of obviously beautiful flowers, but describe it a little bit because even the chain and the way you piece, piece it together is really, really cool. Thank you. I call them the sticks, and it just, the simplicity makes the, the centerpiece yes. stand out instead of making it all very complicated. I like very simple, elegant designs that can be both dressed up and dressed down. These are the crazy. Dave in the shade, let's hear you guys make some noise. Come on. Woo! That was wimpy. Come on. Three, two, one. Come on. Woo! All right. Tell everybody who you guys are. Charlie. My name's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. I'm so blown away at all the artwork that's that nice? here. Yeah, it's great. We're actually uh, we're, we're actually out here promoting the gas rebate program that we've got going on Talk right now. Talk a little bit about that to uh, WIMS audience. Oh, how are you guys doing? Hey. How are you people out there? Come on, peace. Are we on TV? Do you are? Right uh -oh. now, as we speak. Well, pretty much, uh, if, you look, if you pan over there in your uh, in your camera, we, we're giving away five uh, grills to register, and we're doing like a 12-week wow. tour all over northern Indiana, and uh, we are really just trying to push the rebate program, trying to get everybody up to the energy, energy efficiency uh, products that are out right now, and... Uh, I know a lot of people have gotten these orange pamphlets in the mail, but uh, may I take one? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, there's uh, if you go to www.nipsco.com forward slash save energy, uh, there's all kinds of information on the rebate program and tons of tips on maybe 
take a quicker shower, program your thermostat. I mean, all kinds of stuff you can do to save a few bucks. We just covered Jimmy Buffett the other day. Can you remind me of a pyramid in there? Well, thank there. you. <laughs> What's going on? Talk to me about your work. Oh, guys, I, I like to make a lot of fish, and I make them out of a lot of different materials. So mostly it's recycled or, or repurposed materials. So I tell you, we got a lot of fishermen and uh, folks that love our Into the Outdoor show. We're the local radio station. I'm the owner, and Johnny runs it for me. And we just have a blast out here. How did this all come about? Is this something you've been doing for a while, Greg? Oh, I've been doing it for about 20 years. Wow. I'm making fish, and I started selling about eight, seven, eight years ago. And, uh, I, you know, you just kind of find your niche. Absolutely. I've been making other things, but this is what's caught on. I'm Christine Quattle. Of course you are. And uh, we work together with the Kiwanis Club. We're starting up the new Kiwanis Club, which is awesome. We've got great membership going. So it's the place to be this year. It is. And it, folks, uh, obviously you're out here to, to peruse the Lakefront Art Fest. I certainly uh, I talked to uh, Tim Gartland here. We're going to go bug him in a couple seconds. Uh, you guys, both of you guys, and a lot of these local business leaders like yourself, you guys are what makes it happen around here. So I just, first off, thank you. And uh, I, what do you think so far? Is this awesome? I, I think it's got terrific turnout. The weather couldn't oh, be better. That's what I'm it's saying. spectacular. Yeah, absolutely yeah. great. We've got a smile on their face, so that's cool. great. And who is this next to you? Hi, I'm Pat Siebert. Hi, Pat. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. All right, so we got jewelry. We've got all kinds of art. We've got ceramics. we got all kinds of portraits. So go bye, bye, bye. I intend to. Thanks, Rick. All right, Have see you good. later. All right, let's go over here by Mr. Cartland. I know he's, he's, he's going to actually welcome some guests here in, so we're going to do that real quick. Rick Federici and Johnny Rush here on the Talk of the South Shore. Tim Garland. Good morning, Rick. How are you? Wonderful. We're doing the radio TV thing today with uh, WIMS here at AM 1420. Uh, talk a little bit about this. You're obviously out here as a service to the Rotary International. Talk a little bit about the club. Yeah, Rotary here in Michigan City. This is one of the, the projects that we enjoy doing. We're uh, doing bottles of water. We're selling tickets. We're giving masks to the uh, exhibit is what I'm doing today. And it's just a a great project, a great service that we try to do here in, in Michigan City. How are you, Julie Wozniak? Very good, Rick Frederiki and Johnny Rush. How you doing? Uh, we're live right now. You, look at these cutie pies. Now. Well, you know, I brought oh, the whole Wozniak on, on land over. Come on, Julie always talks on the other one. Frederiki, we walk up to each other. We're bonding family. Who Hi, you? that's Gary Tony. You are so cute. It's Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Mary Ann. All right, and so this is the brew. So group. this is the lovely Wozniak plant. This is the Casa Wine Tasting, which yep. is October 1st, which is at the Pearl Theater. From 6 to 9 p.m., Taste of the Nation, Shady Creek Winery, Bottle Shop 2, Shoreline Brewery, great restaurants, great food, $50, and helps support uh, volunteers for court appointed special advocates. See, Julie and I sit on boards together like Casa and stuff right. like that. All right, Gail Cooper from the Laporte County CBB is here. And Dale and I, it's almost like we see each other so much now. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what's going on. Isn't it gorgeous out today? What a beautiful day. It is. If you can get out here, do it. It's wonderful. What do you think about all the exhibitors? Do people, look at this, they're just streaming in. It's beautiful. Fantastic. I think it's a wonderful day to be out here at the boat show and the uh, Lakefront Art Festival. It couldn't be any better. Hey, I'm Barb Bayless. How are you doing, Rick? Of course you are. <laughs> and you and I worked together for the summer of art. It was absolutely wonderful. Yes, we did. And this is an amazing show as well. All right, now let's. I'm going to run over here, Johnny, really quick. Tell everybody who you are. George Hermelin. Of course you are. And I'm Dana DeBase. And Look I'm at this. Rick. I love these three. This is this right here, Johnny. That's a beautiful picture. All right. Talk to me a little bit about what people can expect uh, when they come out to see you guys. Really great stuff today. Really nice. We have fine uh, artwork, a lot of uh, wall art. We also have uh, some gifts. We have a gentleman that, uh, Larry Jensen, who does beautiful woodworking. Uh, and I think our work is just amazing. Oh, my gosh. We have been walking around having such a blast. Tell me, people are raving about this year. The, I mean, the weather could not have been oh. better. I, we feel really blessed about that. And uh, the, the artists have really outdone themselves this year. There's just an awesome variety. I, I know a lot of people went both ways about the whole in-water boat show and, and this together. Personally, I think you did a stellar job, and I hope that this returns like this. I really do. I, I think I do, too. You know, it's a fun event for, for Michigan City. Folks who come out, uh, we've had people come back two days in a row. And, right. and I, I would love to see this become a destination event for folks, the Anchors and Art Weekend. You know, art is... It, 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 it's really in the eye of the beholder and I like to educate my little ones love going to different musical events and art events because they're always learning and I think that's what we need to get out there to the masses to the family even if you're not in tune with art on any level I think just starting with something like this 
is phenomenal. It encourages critical thinking and creative thinking skills, which is the key to success in the 21st century economy. And so we encourage everyone to just take what they can from the art, have a creative experience. And it's great that you guys are circulating like this today. Get out there and talk to some more artists.